What's up guys, Ollie here or Focus TV and uh, today I've got a uh, render settings tutorial for you and like my HD PVR settings and everything like that so let's just crack on uh, as you can see when you get your PVR you can use Total Media Extreme and this is the software you use so basically ha the source is the HD PVR obviously and just copy down these settings YP, RPB, RCA back, 2 channel stereo um, I record on PlayStation 3, be well, I don't know why, but everyone else does as well, so I record on PlayStation 3. Uh, my save format is M2TS, and I have it saved in a certain folder. Um, if I click on device settings, uh, all of mine is default. Format settings, um, depending on your computer, if you've got a good computer, have it up to the best, 13.5, and uh, I think everything else should just be fine anyway. Uh, if it's not copied down quick, um, if you haven't got a good, good enough comp, if your computer lags a bit or something, you might want to lower it to the quality down a bit to make your PVR not freeze and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the PVR bit done. Now I'm gonna move on to Vegas, and as you can see, I've got a clip in already. Uh, this is a triple on mod two. What I hit? There we go. Right. So basically, when you put your clip in. You'll probably have like an M2TS file, so it'll be like a massive video file like this. Um, so basically, what you want to do is find where your clip is and split it with S on the keyboard if you're using Vegas. And then, yeah, when you've got your clip in the right place. Uh, so, yeah, my clip's already rendered, but here it's just pretend it isn't at the minute. So it's not rendered. What you do is, you see this little button here, Event Pan Crop. If you click on that and then bring this like crop in a tiny bit, it uh, gets rid of some little black lines like a black border around the thing, and uh, you can like s name it and save it as a preset using that button there. And basically, it just gets rid of black lines around your clip. Also, um, you might want to go right click on the clip and go to properties and change it to disable resample and then OK. Um, that's about it really for there. Um, as you can see I have a certain size of the screen. I have this as a preset. So if you go to this button here or you go Alt Enter or File Properties it brings up this and I have a preset for it. So yeah, basically you want to copy this down and then save it as a preset, as a template. So 1280 by 720 lower field first, one square uh, 59.94 frames, that's important, most editors will want 59.94 frames, if it's not that then they're not going to edit your episode or something. Um, and then just pixel format and the rest of this best, Gaussian, and uh, write that. Then you go to audio, copy these down, pause it if you need to, and the, the other three you don't really need. If you go on video and you see at the bottom it says start all new projects with these settings, if you check that, every time you open Vegas it will be automatically set in the right in the right um, format or way so that you don't have to worry about redoing it every time. Also you can save it as a preset again here, I've just called mine YouTube and then click the save button there. So when you've done that and you've done the event pan crop to get rid of the black lines around the clip, basically you can either click file render or you can do what I do and highlight the clip I find highlighting the clip a lot easier as you know which bit you're rendering then you just choose where you want to save it and name it whatever but as you see save as file type you need to change this first so first of all you want to go to custom and this is pretty much similar to the projects like the properties project bit so I've got a template again YouTube and just copy these down AVC high definition 1280 by 720 baseline and a frame rate 59.94 frames again that's important if it doesn't let you change it to 59.94 frames you might need to change some of these other settings here first like uh, field order bit rate and stuff like that so once you've done that do the audio it's pretty much the same um, system and project you don't need again on system it should be mp4 um, when you, once you've done save a template again mine's youtube save done then 
then you change the save savers right sorry I wasn't clear as there basically when you're picking your savers file type pick the Sony AVC MP4 M2 TS AVC that one and then go to custom and do all that what I just on about then and then if you need to pause it just do sorry I didn't explain that right and if you see these little bottom, bottom bits here render loop region only that's that bit what I've done where I've highlighted it that's the loop region so I, I always have that checked then you save it wherever you are save done and it should render in a few seconds depending on your computer okay now into after effects I've got the same clipping again now uh, once you you can either render your clips in here or edits so once you've done that you get a the composition add to render queue uh, you see where it says output module lossless click on the lossless in orange right in and then I have a H.264 format H.264 once you've done that format options and basically here we go and again pretty much similar sense so you set the frame size to 1280 by 720 that's important um, just copy most of this down again move this down uh, 59.94 frames per second important um, if it doesn't let you change it to 59.94 again just change these to square pixels change that to square pixels baseline and 4 first then change that if it doesn't work um, if you come down here to the bottom I have these both on 20 and that VPR one pass checked then you got it audio it's pretty much the same really A AAC stereo just copy those down multiplexo and others you don't need really then when you're done click OK and then OK again and then where it says output to you click that choose where you want to save it save done boom done Right, so thanks for watching guys, I'll just show you a small preview of the quality of it, which I've rendered before. Here's the clip, and this is the quality. Right, cheers for watching, it's not the best quality, but it's just the easiest I find for editors, and the easiest to render in uh, a short space of time. Thanks for watching guys, see you next tutorial, peace.